Hello and welcome. My name is Michael Alfano. I'm the Instructional Technology Coach for the Peekskill City School District. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to resolve a behavior referral. When you are in Infinite Campus, if you are in the classic view, which should look similar to this here, you can find your behavior referrals by either going to the drop down for behavior and then clicking on behavior management, or you can use the search at the top if you make sure you're clicked on index and you type in behavior management, you will then see an option for behavior management. If you are in the new view, which we can change by clicking on the silhouette at the top right and then clicking try new look, we have similar options. We can either click on behavior office on the left hand side and then click behavior management or we can use the search at the top of the screen. And although you won't see me typing in this demo, I am typing behavior management, and you will then see the behavior management option appear here. In any of these four scenarios, once we click on behavior management, we will be brought to a screen that looks like this. On the behavior management screen, we will first be presented with all of the submitted and in progress behavior referrals. We can filter these by using the drop down provided to see submitted, in progress, or completed behavior referrals. To resolve a behavior referral, we will first select the referral that we would like to add a resolution to. Here, we can see the original behavior referral and all of the details that were provided. At the bottom of this window, we can see our example student Michael was listed as the offender and our example student Stephen was listed as the victim. Please note that all students that were tagged as an offender or all students that were tagged as a participant must have a resolution added in Infinite Campus. To add a resolution, we will start by clicking Add Resolution. In the pop-up window here, we can first start by clicking on the resolution type. In our example, we're going to give a two-day in-school suspension. We will then choose the resolution assigned date, which will default to today's date. We can choose the resolution start date, which in this case will be the first day of this student's suspension. In our example, we will choose tomorrow's date, which is Friday, October 22nd. For the ending resolution date, we are going to choose the next school day, which is going to be Monday, October 25th. For the duration in school days, we can put two, since this is a two-day suspension. We can then use the drop-down for behavior admin staff name, and I will go ahead and choose my name here. In the details section here, you are able to add your own personal notes to be applied to the resolution itself. These details are different than those in the original behavior referral and will be kept separate. If you need to submit a reason for removal, you can use the drop down menu here. Lastly, we can choose which student or students we are going to apply this resolution to. You can use the checkboxes to select one or multiple students to apply the resolution. In this case, I'm only going to apply the resolution to our example student Michael since he was the offender. Once I'm satisfied, I will click Save. I'm then brought back to the behavior management page and I can see at the bottom of the screen under our example student Michael, there is now an in-school suspension for two days that is listed. If I need to add an additional resolution, I can go ahead and click Add Resolution again and follow the same steps as before. Once all resolutions have been added and we are ready to resolve this behavior referral, we will first click on the drop down next to Status and change the status to Complete. Once that is done, at the top of the page, we can click Save. Once the page refreshes, you will notice that the behavior referral is no longer listed here. That is because we marked it as complete 
and it no longer falls under the status filter of submitted or in progress. If we would like to view this behavior referral, we can change the filter to complete, and we will then see that behavior referral listed here. Thank you so much for watching this video on how to resolve a behavior referral. I hope you have a great day.